security gateways for banking industry. Dear colleagues, good morning. Uh, Sberbank Technology. Uh, we are present at uh, such conferences uh, for several years. Already last time we talked about our enterprise bus. This time we thought it would be more interesting for you to look at our uh, gateway solutions. And let's talk. It's a specific subject uh, at the intersection of integration technologies and security technologies. So let me tell you what we developed within the last year. Our experience is huge. We have uh, about 25 gateway solutions in production for more than 10 years. By this time, we have more than 100 external uh, suppliers and uh, partners. What is a gateway? You know. If you don't know, then of course uh, you can read what is written here below. Uh, let's start with a larger landscape, banking IT platform, which looks like many other enterprise-level landscapes. Uh, but of course, we have our specifics, our customers, the technology, that uh, the methodology, the approach we use for to build IT infrastructure depends on a specific task. But uh, we have certain methodologies that we focus on. We look around. We have service-oriented architecture, SOA. Uh, it evolves. And today we uh, develop, de define, we divide everything into uh, a front office, a service hub, and integration gateways. Uh, they interact between each other. We have internal systems, internal financial services connected to the enterprise bus, message broker, integration bus, and the integration gateways are for external interaction with any kind of services, payments, external partners, customers, whatever. In general, the evolution of gateway solutions started from small things at a certain moment of time. Banking functionality uh, was exposed to external world through B2B uh, gateways. We had uh, custom solutions, we had market-based uh, solutions. When SOA appeared, we so SOA gateways, we went on, and the market requires new approaches, mobile solutions, web-focused uh, applications. And the last point is APIs. Each organization wants its functionality to be available not only to specific developers or subcontractors, uh, but to anyone who would like to use banking functionality, we are also thinking about it, and our um, gateways are focused on this task. Uh, this is the diversity, uh, which poses some problems. We had siloed solution, then we decided to integrate everything. Uh, to use an integrated platform, and uh, that's what we're doing now. Architecturally, we unified our gateways. We have certain building blocks. We also try to uh, move uh, gateway logic out of the business logic of applications, and we focus on our internal systems that we expose externally. Each organization has its own rules and standards of security. We also have a lot of them. Uh, the system is classified by different levels of security, and we standardized them. We did it with one purpose in mind. On the basis of one te technological platform, including the logical platform, we have to build quite quickly our gateway solutions. In general, we define two logical gateways, one uh, embracing the other. We have a security gateway, 
which supports interaction between the external world and our banking systems, and vice versa. If we want to involve an external service, we use the security gateway. And the integration gateway is more complex. Conceptually, it involves the bus functionality, it works with data, is data routing and transformation, and uh, this is uh, what works with our enterprise bus. Uh, looking inside the integration gateway, this is what we can see. Of course, uh, some sections are optional, and they depend on specific situation, but in general, we can say we have a counter agent or partner, we have a firewall, then a query gets from uh, the demilitarized zone to external network, data is validated, then uh, we control the quality of service. If you want to limit our internal QOA, we do it here. We have some limitations imposed at this point. We authenticate, authenticate, authorize everything. Uh, this is the bus functionality in the bank. We have our internal standards, and uh, we normalize all data to that standard. And at the end, we uh, have uh, the standard format, check against virus signatures. Uh, we try to... Uh, find uh, threats, if any, in the data. Oh, we have different segments of the network, and uh, each transport is uh, transformed, uh, formatted into MQ, and sent to another network segment. In the internal network, we carry out re the reverse transformation, if necessary. So this is the basic solution. Uh, which works in our company. We use IBM Data Power for ourselves. Why IBM Data Power? Why is it so interesting? It's a long story, of course. The main focus is uh, on security. Uh, uh, it was a long story, but when security department uh, said OK, we quickly installed the solution and spread it across the bank. It's, uh, the solution is really secure. Uh, everything is contained in one box. Uh, all the parameters are listed in the slide. Uh, of course, uh, I will uh, spend some more time uh, going into detail of security parameters. The functionality is provided, well, so to say, uh, we have a web interface and you can develop and configure your features and functions of your gateway through a web interface. Configuring, administering the entire cycle of development uh, is supported on that interface, web interface. Of course, there are some other additional tools. We can work with command line interface. And the functionality described uh, in terms of actions, which are uh, gathered into one chain. So it's quite standard, message broker and so on. It's a flow. It's a continuous flow, which is logically combined. Uh, it can be cyclic or linear. So it may look like this as one of the options. Uh, then it's uh, saved as a policy and uh, then spread across the enterprise. And we also can use templates and patterns, uh, reference patterns, if you like. Security. So we support uh, a, um, 3A engine. In Russian, it's also 3A, authentication, authorization, and auditing which can quickly authenticate, authorize, and audit data. Looking at any request or query which gets in, we identify the system or the client. We define resources that uh, have to be provisioned. We authenticate 
and pay attention please to the fact that each stage uh, uh, includes a lot of systems and open standards which are supported and we can customize each step if you have an in-house solution after the authentication we carry out mapping of the identifier and the resource or system we carry out authorizations supporting a lot of systems and then we can carry out additional procedures and then we accept or reject the query depending on the result of processing one more interesting point uh, which is worth mentioning is centralized service management when we interact with a lot of with a huge external world of web services we have to store those interactions somewhere we cannot store it in the gateway solution as such uh, we have separate solutions for that we call them service repositories data power uh, helps us quickly and conveniently out of the box to support IBM specialized solution. It's IBM Web Sphere Service Registry and Repository. And we can get information about routing, uh, about uh, taking into account the endpoints, the sources, the destinations. It's all stored in service registry and repository we have information about subscriptions and so on and now a few business cases classical ones just to demonstrate how well uh, the gateway solution can be used and are actually used now without any additional work required mobile and card payments you know the the goals I would like to point out specifically uh, data validation out of the box. We can have WSDL descriptions and schemes. Validation is done on the fly. Authorization, authentication, filtering, all these components and actions uh, are carried out in the gateways very quickly and simply, easily. Then loans or crediting it's a scoring process of course uh, we involve a lot of systems here credit agencies credit rating agencies stop lists mm. and this is a standard case we have a composite service inside the device which helps us interact with those systems So. And the final, the latest thing, uh, uh, online banking systems. It's a good solution. Uh, it's uh, related to one system, which is called uh, Sberbank Online. It lives a bit aside from our general landscape because uh, on demand uh, on specific demands it uh, reacts specifically it's a critical system actually and we have our own um, easily manageable solution protection from online attacks filtering uh, the main problems are evident uh, a huge flow of services uh, uh, high performance requirements so the figures are all here 30 million clients of online banking 2000 uh, competitive transactions per second why this solution is so good and why it's so well embedded in our uh, landscape uh, that's because of the mq protocol we have a lot of uh, gateway solutions in the market but few of them just few really few of them can work with specific requirements transport requirements and then just for your reference a few figures about typical operations and how much time uh, they require so the functionality and the time 
it needs, how much time it takes, with data power or without data power, with a customized solution. The difference is huge. So that's about all. Uh, I have briefly covered the topic. Uh, if you have any questions, you are welcome. What are the difficulties with uh, using your gateways? The difficulties, well, it's a philosophical question, actually. No. Is everything as well as you told us, but it's real life, uh, there should be some problems? Yes, of course, go into detail, you will find difficulties. Life is much richer than a presentation. The Questions of security still pop up from time to time, but before we accepted that solution, we tested this and checked it. Uh, as far as maintenance is concerned, there is some specific uh, dynamic management of resources, provisioning when we build a cluster configuration that should um, support dynamic, uh, dynamically uh, manage uh, Provisioning, covering all uh, sort of peaks. Mm, there are some subtleties here. And uh, initially, that was a problem because out of the box, uh, provisioning uh, was not uh, uh, supported as well as it is needed. Now we have appropriate load balancers for the gateways, for the clusters that uh, stay behind the gateways, because it's not usually the gateways, but those systems which are behind, they fail from time to time. Now we have dynamic routing. In real time, we collect uh, data about utilization of uh, servers and balance the workload on them. Well, the first thing uh, I can think about is, um, for, well, that's quite clear. It's a problem with our uh, ghost certificates. Uh, those certificates, uh, the, the system we use is not uh, exactly customized to the Russian market, but we can, we have an elegant, sol some kind of elegant solutions which help us involve ghost uh, things. But in general, the functionality of subscription, of encryption, uh, is done through web services. We have uh, solutions, encryption solutions, which stand next to the main system. And we use the cluster with the collocated uh, encryption solution, a separate one. Does Google pay uh, for, your, for its uh, errors? Does Sberbank pay for its... Uh, errors. Yeah, it does it. Yeah, and there's a mobile bank and the banking and etc. So does it pay or doesn't? Um, unfortunately, uh, so we uh, uh, so we are spread very thinly. Uh, so in a very big uh, building and, and and this bare bank. So there are many IT departments, and we we don't know much. We we know just we, we stay current uh, what what happens there. And so but we're just as users, not developers. And what happens since so this uh, a mobile bank online? What's happening there? We don't know much about whether they do any testing, stress testing technologies. I think that no probability they have at all. But we are just users, not developers. Thank you for the pre thank you for the presentation. And uh, so then that is. Uh, hmm. We open up this uh, uh, this uh, slide. Hmm. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. That the development time uh, uh, is uh, is uh, correlated to the uh, 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 so the total cost of ownership. Uh, uh, the, uh, uh, o R. Uh, uh, so, uh, so my question has to do with this support of this system. Uh, understand that this system is a finished product, and uh, I think the uh, the way I understood is it done on your side or it's just part of the service that is uh, that comes together with the device let's put it this way so vendor support it's there right so we help on the basis of vendor solution we built our own solution we have a special department that uh, is involved in uh, in gateway solutions supportive gateway solutions we do that and uh, 
and the number wise it's true that um, it's uh, it's kind of it's a total cost of ownership that's true so there is a simple solution and uh, like coding time reduction and uh, to, to reduce time for development that's true we, and then uh, including support as well so okay then the second question follow up follow up question now, if uh, if you need uh, to uh, uh, enhance the functionality of the devices that you offer, so now just you just on top of uh, so developing this authorization module, so just you do the functionality and you add it, so you propose it. Can't it happen that you will have to uh, increase the basic uh, functionality of the gateways? Uh, so what will you do? What would you do then? Yeah, I I agree that. Uh, so I fully realize that there are limitations. Uh, and uh, we know there are functionality, but we need to clearly understand that. Uh, so we should not uh, uh, attempt to grow uh, 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 a small out of a small lizard a big uh, crocodile. No need to do that. Mm. And uh, so then this is the solution, and it uh, fits in uh, uh, certain requirements. But if there is anything else, so let's not. Let's not uh, this is all guesswork. What if? What if? Uh, yeah. Uh, so then the hardware is, uh, allows us to do that, enhance it, because the vendor is not a stupid guy. Uh, he, uh, he watches where the market migrates, and uh, so on, then adds these little frills uh, on top of what we have. But, uh, but otherwise, we would uh, look for alternatives and uh, to try to, with a low cost, address our issues. Uh, so then uh, these this 20 hours uh, uh, of this module. So what's the point of develop? What, what is it that you develop? What, what, what it means? So, so developing for data power. Data power is certain configuration. Uh, uh, so then, the, then I, I showed you the, uh, uh, the, the graph, mm, uh, the pictures. Uh, it's actually uh, the writing, writing the code uh, on the basis of uh, the feasibility study. Yeah, because we have CCT code and XML. XML. The main point is X XSLT development. Uh, the entire fun functionality of the hardware we had is a graphic uh, a component. Uh, all the main uh, transactions uh, related to scripting, uh, 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 transformation of data. Uh, so lots of uh, things. Uh, so about 40, 50 functions that needed to be available. So they are all available in the in in, in the in the expansion component. Uh, if we need another uh, component, then it, it's written on XSLT. Mm. XSLT. So what what does this, this uh, infrastructure look like? You distribute how many? Uh, uh, what what is your hard uh, um, uh, uh, hardware. So, how do you balance? Uh, and what is a virtualization of a, a dynamic? What is it? Uh, virtualization of services and dynamic routing uh, on the basis of content. Uh, so we can see only data power. That's it. That's uh, so. Th that's uh, all the back systems information is removed, and uh, 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 something else is different than routing and so balancing load. So evolutionary, evolutionary. Uh, so the gateway solutions were built uh, within the specific uh, frameworks of, of, of projects and uh, and the and the components that are on the surface. Uh, so now, just in recent, uh, in the uh, in the last year, so the gateway solutions have uh, grown much, and uh, we consolidate them, streamline them, and technologically these systems. Uh, uh, so we kind of bring uh, bring uh, uh, bring them to one common denominator and. Uh, so then the hardware allows to uh, uh, to uh, update it, uh, to balance it, and to scale it. Uh, so then, uh, so there is a balancing property at the, at, at the input and uh, the balancing property at the output. And uh, so then connecting new resources uh, is another thing. Uh, so what, uh, so out of the box solution, that's not possible to do that. To, to connect new resources, it's either a hot standbys and uh, or uh, so but you cannot uh, do, do it with the help of out, out of the box solution or just resources then can smooth over any spikes uh, of the load any more questions <laughs> okay let's uh, say thank you <laughs>